Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. Before I dive into the introduction for this video, I want to hit a couple of housekeeping items. Remember that if you enjoy the content in this video, make sure you click like and also subscribe to the channel. And when you do, click the bell so that way you can be made aware of when new content is posted to the channel. So in this video, I'm answering the um, question of a friend of mine named John, who you can find on Twitter at Chapel37, that's C-H-A-P-L-3-7, and he wanted to know if he knew anyone that is able to add audio to a video. And with some decent video editing software, th this is not too difficult of, of a task to do, and so I, I told him that I'm, I'm able to do this, and better yet, I'd make him a tutorial video uh, on how he can do this himself using the software that I use for my YouTube videos, which is the, the OpenShot video editor. And so I also figured that while I'm making this tutorial video for John, I would post it on my own YouTube channel so my uh, subscribers and other folks that happen to, to find this channel in this video might find some use out of it as well. So again, the software I'm using is OpenShot Video Editor, and you can go to www.openshot.org to find out a little bit more about the software. It is um, open source. It's free to use. It's available on uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually doing this on my uh, Pop OS Linux desktop. So without further ado, let's jump in and learn how to add uh, audio to a video using OpenShot Video Editor. So here we are on my uh, Pop! OS desktop and I have a couple of files here. This is an uh, arrangement of a bot corral that I made and this is the introduction video for the, the last video that I uploaded to the channel. So I'm going to go, and this, this, uh, the, the steps I'm doing apply to uh, Linux and the GNOME desktop, but the, the same concepts can, can work with, with Windows and Mac as well. So I'm going to go to Activities, show all my applications. I'm going to run OpenShot Video Editor. And by default, there are, are, are multiple tracks. We're only going to be working with two tracks. I'm going to remove these extra tracks to where I have just two left. Now, this is an um, unsaved project. There, there, there's been nothing added to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, and uh, you can either do this through the import files menu, or you can drag and drop. So I'm going to just do the drag and drop method. I'm going to drag my video file in, and I'm going to drag my audio file in. So now these are available for, for my project. So the the first thing that, that, that we're going to do is simply um, have the video with any audio and such that it has and we're going to at a certain point have this second or the, this audio file playing at the same time so i think this from from what um john was asking me about this is the the basic thing that that that, that he's wanting to do he has a video that has um a, a period of silence and he wants to fill in that period of silence with with some music. Now, this video that I'm using does not have silence. It's me talking through the the, the whole time, but you'll you'll um, get the the concept out of it. So I'm simply going to drag my video in. I'm going to move it. I oh, will keep it there. And then I'm going to drag my audio in. I'm going to drag it to track zero. Now this audio file is 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 pretty long. It's a I think like two and a half minute arrangement, or or two minute arrangement, uh, something like that. So what I'm going to do is drag this over to the last um, 30, 45 seconds, or uh, last actually this would be more like 20 seconds or so. That's the 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 loudest part of the arrangement, and it'll be it'll be obvious what's going on. So what I would want to do is let's say that I wanted this music to start at the 15 second mark. So all I would do is drag this over to the 15 second mark and really that's that's it as far as not doing any type of other editing you're simply just adding the, the audio. If I do the um, the video preview here you're gonna hear and, and see the first 15 seconds of the video and then at this point you will hear this 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 music. So let's test that real quick. I'm going to mute my um, desktop microphone so that way it'll sound as, as close to accurate as possible.
Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. In this video, I'm going to take the existing DNS server that, that was made in the previous video for my home lab and expand some of its, its capabilities. Before I do, I'm going to do a couple of housekeeping things. Remember, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure you so now of course this is a, a great still still shot of me there on, on the pause now of course this this sounds terrible because you know i'm talking in the music and it's it, it's too loud but as far as in john's scenario where he would have um have silence happening this this works perfectly fine and the, and, and the music is going to play all the way in, in until the the end of the, the music clip and then it'll it'll be silent again so I'm gonna uh, skip ahead a bit so you can hear just uh, how that would sound click feel free to, to share this video with anyone you think that uh, might find some new. also feel free to, to share this video with anyone you think that uh, might find some use out of it for for, for their workings now my uh, audio clip had some silence at the end of it, but you heard where, where, where the music stopped, and then you know it's, it's not in in conflict with the the video. So in OpenShot to turn this into a video itself, what we can do is click the export video button, and I'm just um, keeping the 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 defaults depending on what the what the resolution and such of your video is, you, you might want to change the, the, the profile. And I'm going to name this test, call it test one. I'm going to browse to where I would like this to go. Videos, video 52. And choose that. And export video. Now, this is only going to take a, a minute or so because this is relatively short video and there's 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 not a lot um, going on with it the next example that I'm, I'm going to show you once this uh, finishes exporting is being able to fade in and, and, and fade out the music keep in mind that open shot is not a, an audio editor but it can do some 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 basic things if you want to have much more control over what the audio and such is, you, you will probably want to put your, your MP3 file or whatever audio source you have into Audacity, make changes to, to that audio, export that, that file with whatever changes that, that, that you want, and then put that into OpenShot because there, there, are, there are limitations to what OpenShot is, is able to, to do here. Now, one other thing that, that you can do, let's say that you have a um, video like this and you're wanting to insert some audio but have either silence or just um, you know a blank screen on the video. I'm going to show you that as, as well and then we'll, we'll do one final export of, of everything that, that we have. So the export's done and the file oh, not trash there we go video 52 and there is our file test1.mp4 so i'm going to mute my uh, desktop microphone again and let's see how how this turns out hello and welcome back to the channel my name is eddie jennings from ejsllc.com in this video i'm going to take the existing DNS server that, that was made in the previous video for my home lab and expand some of its, its capabilities. Before I do, I'm going to do a couple of housekeeping things. Remember, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure that you click like and also subscribe to the channel and, and click the bell so you can be notified when new uh, content comes available. Also, feel free to, to share this video with anyone you think that uh, might find So as you heard there, at uh, right around the 15 second mark, the music comes blasting on, and it's 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 covering over the 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 voice and such. And then after the the a lot of time for the music, it just it just goes away. So I'm gonna save my project here, and we'll go to videos video 52, and we'll just call this video. 052.osp. 
So now what I'm going to do is take this clip and I'm going to create an opportunity for this. Let's say that in, in our video you want to have a, a you want to have like a metered pause as far as video is going to go to black. We're going to hear some music and then go back to the video. So to be able to do this, I'm going to move my cursor to the 15 second mark and I have now selected the the video clip itself. And what I'm going to do is choose slice. I'm going to keep both sides. And so what this has done is split this into two different clips. And so what I'm going to do now, as you can hear my watch going off with notifications, what I'm going to do now is move this clip over to the end of the audio clip. And so what the end effect is going to be here is once the video gets to this point, it's going to go completely black and you'll just have the audio. There's not going to be any voice to compete with it. So in the preview here, let's see, let's see how that, how that works. BiasLLC.com. In this video, I'm going to take the existing DNS server that, that was made in the previous video for my home. And so in the resulting video, it will, it will do just as it showed in the preview. It's going to go to black and then, then have the, the music happening. Now, let's say that you are wanting to not have this occur and you want the music happening at the, the, the same time as the actual voice but not have it completely drown out the voice. Well, one method of doing that is, as I mentioned, taking the, the music and editing it in something like Audacity and then in, in, importing this clip. Another thing that, that you can do, I'm going to move this clip back here. I've selected the audio clip is for volume the entire clip, we're going to set the level at 30%. And then, well, 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 we'll get to that in a moment. So we're going to just set this level at 30%. We'll do the, um, the preview again. And so we'll hear the audio start abruptly, but it should not be nearly as loud as it was the, the previous time. Video, I'm going to take the existing DNS server that, that was made in the previous video for my home lab and expand some of its, its capabilities. Before and so there you hear the audio starting and it's not over overpowering the voice. So let's say in, in, in John's scenario he, he did not have a period of silence in the video that he wanted to have the audio but rather um, there was there was some kind of speech going on in the video and he wanted to add some background music to it that's that's one way of, of making that happen one other thing that I want to show you and I'm actually going to select our audio again as far as the volume we're going to reset everything back to its defaults and I'm gonna do two things to the clip so I've again selected the audio piece I'm gonna go to volume and for the entire clip, I'm going to set this to 50%, so it's a little bit louder. And then I'm also going to add a fade in and fade out slow. And so what should happen here is the audio is going to fade in, get to the 50% the volume mark, and then after it's, it's, it, it's run through, it's going to fade out. DNS server that, that was made in the previous video for my home lab and expand some of its, its capabilities. Before I do, I want to do a couple of housekeeping things. Remember, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure that you click like and also subscribe to the channel and, and click the bell so you can be notified when new uh, content comes available. Also, feel free to share this video with anyone you think that. Now, unfortunately, the fade started after the actual audio itself ended. So let me I'd like to go back to resetting the volume. I'm actually going to edit this audio clip down some and redo the what we just did to the clip. So 50% for the entire clip and entire clip fade in and out slow. 
So this should give you a much more accurate representation of what's going on. Uh, that was made in the previous video for my home lab and expand some of its, its capabilities. Before I do, I want to do a couple of housekeeping things. Remember, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure that you click like and also subscribe to the channel and, and click the bell so you can be notified when new uh, content comes available. Also, feel free. That's another wonderful still shot. So that, that, that gives you an example of that audio fading in and out. And then just like at the very beginning, uh, all you would do once you have all of your edits the, the way that you would like, you would click the export video, make you a new file, and then there is your, your newly edited video that will have whatever um, audio that, that, that you would like to have um, added to it. So I hope you found the tutorial useful for adding audio to a video using OpenShot. Um, if you did, make sure you click like on the video and also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can be aware of when new content comes out. I also in encourage you to leave comments on the video, in particular if you have some experience with video editing and want to share some alternative methods of uh, being able to achieve the same goal of adding audio to video. Just like in IT, there, there's rarely just one single way of, of being able to, to solve a problem and part of the goal for almost all the videos that, that I um, upload is for everyone to be able to share and learn from one another to, to best solve whatever task that, that, that they need to solve. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'll put a link to OpenShot in the description should you want to check out the software and try it yourself, and I'll see you the next time.